Okay guys, so first thing I wanna do with the tripod is I already tightened down all the nuts, bolts, the screws, just to make sure everything is tight. There was only one that was not tight. What I think I explained to you guys too, is I don't like these slow motion controls that I need a hex screw. It's just gonna complicate more things when you travel. So let's get these two things off. I could probably use this on a different scope or maybe some people that like it, that way it doesn't fall off. That's great. Now, I got these slow motion controls. Hopefully they work. Small ones, because I really don't need anything too big. And let's see if this works and it clears because it's gonna save room again when traveling. Mm -hmm. The Yeah, it does not work because the bolt is too, the thumb screw doesn't go all the way around. Okay, so it's good to know. So I could use this for something else. It's okay, I have more. Yep, this one works, but it's a little big of a slow motion control. I didn't really want any, you know, I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, it's pretty thin. Let's see if this thumb screw on this one fits on this guy. If so, I'll use the small ones with just a smaller thumb screw. There we go. Okay, it worked. So let's see. I still have a problem. I don't know. Is it the weight? Let me see. So is it the weight of this? Mm -hmm. What happens if I extend it? And put an eyepiece and put the finder scope. Yeah, okay. You know what guys, there is a problem. I'm only gonna be able to change one thumb screw and I'll show you why. Okay, so this one is fine type of thing. You can see it moving up and down, uh, but this one, look where it is, all the way here. There's no way that I can put a, a one of these and then tighten the nut, there's no way. I'm gonna have to use um, the original one. So I guess the question is, do I just bring, if I have to bring the uh, one of them, an Allen key, uh, might as well maybe just bring them both. Like really there's no difference, I guess. Uh, and bringing one with one Allen key, might as well just bring two. Um, or maybe I'll just bring all three and see how I feel. But I guess the way they make this guy, it's impossible right there to actually, uh, you know, put your finger in and tighten it. There's just no room for it to go all the way deep inside. So maybe it has to be these guys. But anyway, it was a good try. Hey guys, welcome to the Joe Jaguar Show. And your best friend in astronomy and science. Now, my last video that we did on this guy, I did say we are gonna do something special to this guy. I haven't seen anybody do this. <clears throat> I think I got a sore throat, uh, so I'm not sure if you can hear that. So now, remember my second module for the um, star sense? Since this is gonna be my travel scope, I'm gonna attach it uh, probably around there. So, you guys are gonna join me while we do this. Okay, so I am going to just make sure it's nice and straight to the tube, closer to the back, I think. Um, I better, no, you know what? I don't want to drill into, so I'm gonna drill through the tube. Some of you might think like, what is he doing? Okay, that looks about straight to me. It's kind of hard to see a pencil mark. I can see two out of the three. 
can't see the third one, but it's okay. I will drill a hole. Okay, first we're just gonna mark Okay, we got the mirror out, the four set screws. Let's just put this down. A nice soft surface. Now, okay. Okay. Okay, so I opened up the hole. I did a small hole, then I opened up the hole a little bit more. Now I wanna find some screws and bolts. Um, okay guys, so I didn't like the screws that um, I had in the bolts and it was just too thick. I don't need something also protruding like an inch past the inside of the tube. So I just went to the store, bought a few different screws, some washers, uh, some straps, because just in case I need straps, another set of uh, bolts and washers and a different kind of bungee glue and a scale. So. Okay, so here we go. So we have, it's already bolted down. I can just finger tight it, which is probably fine. And it'll be like that. I noticed it's on a small bit of an angle. I put it on a little bit of a curve. Uh, you know what? It doesn't really matter. And the reason is <clears throat> whenever I put that in the eyepiece and then you turn this on, there's an X to align it with the star sense. And then you can move that X wherever. So wherever that is, as long as both of these are together, should be fine. But uh, of course, when I go on the plane, I can take the whole thing off. I don't need any tools, put it back, and I'll just put the mirror back. Anyway, so that's, uh, I guess, the first part. Okay, for now, let's put that mirror back. Um, and then I might just put everything away, and that might be it for uh, this part, and I'll continue. Uh, the next part, which is going to be last year, I went to Canadian Tire. So for you guys that are not Canadian, it's a <clears throat> store that actually has everything. But in their camping section, this is a, like a sleeping pad. It's about an inch thick and you can sleep on it. Now, in my 20s and 30s, something like this was fine. But now in my early 50s, uh, last year when we went camping with the uh, 10 inch, I think I did a video on it going camping to Killarney with a 10 inch Mead um, light bridge. It was one of the worst sleeps I had in a long, long time. Um, even though this is very cushiony, I'll show it to you guys. So it's about an inch thick, uh, rolls up to about six foot uh, long, uh, about two foot wide, and it's very soft. So um, not sure if you can see that. Uh, but it wasn't enough. So I'm going to use this to maybe wrap this guy up at least once around, maybe even twice around for padding. Um, if I have enough for two rolls, uh, you know, I'm just not sure uh, to go on the carry on. Uh, of course, this won't be here. But again, I'll try with two. And if I can't, then it'll be once around. And hopefully that's good enough to cushion it. But my thinking is it's going to be the protection. And then after it's gonna be the dew shield uh, type of thing. Um, 
And then I also bought like flocking paper or felt uh, lined paper and it's uh, sticky on one side. And because that thing is blue, um, it's probably gonna have a lot of reflection uh, on the inside of the telescope. And uh, this is gonna cut that out. But also being that I've used like dew shields and for many, many years, I noticed that dew shields, the dew actually clings on to the wall of like uh, of the dew cap uh, first before it starts working its way towards the optics or the corrector plate or that type of thing. So this should be able to do the same as well. Uh, the dew, it should prolong it a little bit more as the dew will stick to this first, the felt until it gets saturated and then work its way down the tube. So hopefully in a warm, humid climate like Mexico, um, <clears throat> In the summertime hopefully this helps now the only thing i was hoping is that this felt type of paper is very very like thin uh like the felt itself it's probably i don't even know one sixteenth of an inch now on um, some of my dew caps uh like right now i have the 12 inch um dew cap that's felt line it's probably a bit thicker so i didn't know if it's going to be the felt was going to be practically like i don't know one millimeter, uh, maybe on a dude cap, it's probably two millimeters thick. Uh, but anyway, I'll try it out. Um, if I find it doesn't work, it didn't cost much. I think it was, I don't know if it was like 15 bucks or 15 to 20 bucks uh, Canadian. So I'll see how it goes. If it works, it's fine. If it's not, I'll try to order one that's with thicker um, felt and then that's it. Anyway, so that's a work in progress. Uh, let's put that mirror back on and then that's going to be the end of this one I think depending how long it is. So let's get to it Okay, there we go mirror is back in place and I put it back where the tape uh, goes That way it's back in the original position the star sense is on. So there we go. There's my Franken scope that um, I don't think anybody has, I guess, put star sense on so many different scopes like I have. But here's a perfect travel scope, big enough to see the deep sky stuff, clusters, galaxies, uh, if you're in a dark enough uh, thing. And you have the go to feature of this guy. So that's it, I'm gonna put everything away. I will do the next part as I showed you guys with the dew shield and the felt and all that um, in a, on the next one. Cheers. Joe Jaguar, like, comment, and subscribe. Now, I do have a new members only uh, section for uh, only members can see video, shout outs, uh, name calling, that type of thing. So if you'd like to join, it's only 99 cents a month. I also have thanks and thumbs ups on my videos. If you want to contribute to that, uh, that'd be great. And why not you? Why not me?